Yeah, what's going on guys? It's me, Monthly, of course, and in today's video I will want to show you a very interesting game on League 13. As you can see, I was searching for some very interesting games in some uh, lower leagues, not League 16, of course. Uh, as you can see, both players have around 4,300 crit, almost. Uh, both of them, uh, one is playing with Riding Hood and Jay, pretty standard deck. If you don't have um of course zeus to upgrade your uh, riding hoods then you rely mostly and only on your dryad uh with jay it is not that good but reaching almost four minutes it is already pretty pretty good and other player is playing jay paul level 20 and sword dps to my surprise of course with uh, this week's faction bonus uh, swords are getting um three merge ranks uh, one merge rank per 60 seconds it's quite op uh, to play sword dps if you don't have zeus for example uh, but that is my uh, to my surprise it is jake paul with quite high heroic item i will show you in just a second let's start with uh, j player for equipment it's pretty standard to my surprise he doesn't have techno bonus on his hunter's jacket uh, but uh, yeah so i'm not sure how it will interact with his golden counter spell if it will um cleanse his riding hoods he is playing a uh, level 14 spear with techno and of course level 14 amulet of growth with techno golden counter spell this guy has pretty pretty insane uh, enchantments in my opinion two golden counter spells and one epic uh, level 8 j with uh, j item with one hammer of course uh, as for the talents uh, all right all damage riding hood uh, knight statue all uh, left left right pretty standard for riding hood deck all right for which you can also play magic Cir circle if you struggle with your mana um for dryad right right left standard dryad and harlequin all uh two left because it's all only level 11 it is not maxed um for jake paul player as you can see level 20 quite insane not many players have jake paul on level 20 uh level 8 heroic item with five hammers um, level 15 Hunter's Jacket with magic on it, level 19 Sword with magic on it, and Max uh, Amulet of Growth with magic as well. Uh, for the enchantments, Abundance, Abundance pretty, pretty good uh, rare enchantment. It is not the best, but if you don't have any other option, of course Abundance will be uh, decent. Uh, generosity i think for sword dps deck it might be good especially that he has all faction bonuses unlocked uh, so he will proc it uh, pretty pretty often uh, i will have to check he has magic dark and um and light on it so dark for harlequin magic for witch and for a sword yeah so only for three units it is not that great but it is not that too bad in my opinion as for the talents of course uh, left right left for sword dps it is pretty standard if you don't play it in our case uh for dryad standard uh hard liquid level 13 left right right pretty good uh, that level 15 not having level 15 talent while playing sword dps might hurt you uh so just so you know um left right left so uh full bonus damage for spirit uh for spirit master yeah for uh for a summoner and for the witch right 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 also you can play magic Cir circle because you are merging a lot you are uh, wasting uh, using a lot of your mana all right so it's three minutes 40 seconds i will show you the beginning of the game uh, like first wave first two waves we'll see how both players will set up their board and then we will skip uh, to like one minute uh, two minutes even death wave and i will try to talk to you about how uh, both players uh, should play and what they should do and what they actually did so yeah let's jump into the game and yeah hey you yes you do you still buy things directly in the game client? Come on, you know it's much better to purchase on the market. 
It's so simple. You just go into the Rushrail official market or you can just click in the link in the description. Choose any item you want and after that if you want to support me you can use my creator code MANTI and enter any message you want to me. You have plenty of payment methods there as well. That's one of the best ways to become even better player than you are right now. For all those who support me, big thanks guys and stay awesome. Alright, we are in the game, let's see the tiles. Uh, for Sword DPS, it is, I can already tell you that these tiles are nowhere near being good. Uh, they are all next to each other, so there is no place in between for, uh, for your witches. As for uh, Riding Hood, it is quite good in my opinion. Two double tiles, you can set up very very good knight statue on the left side near the, near the gate. Uh, so that it will buff two of his J tile and two of his double tiles. In my opinion, it is the best option that he can get. Uh, if he decides to play on for two knight statues, uh, he can always uh, place it on the witch tile. Uh, so he can buff uh, the, the the last J tile and one of the amulet of growth tiles. Um, yeah, that way he will be able to buff most of his uh, riding hoods with knight statue and witch as well uh let's see uh, the sword dps player is currently struggling to place his uh first dps sword ancient sword on the amulet tile but we'll see how it will go he's stuck in those dryads so once he get it uh, it will go up very very quickly with merge drunks um so yeah let's just hope i, I think he he will not have any problems uh, with with killing the Gorgon. Gorgon is pretty easy boss, especially on, on first wave. If, if it was Tribunal, I would worry about it. Uh, but as we can see, uh, he's saving those three, uh, two tier 3 swords, so he has to merge any of those swords, and then next merge of swords will be uh, Ancient Swords, so he will uh, automatically, yeah, just like I said, automatically getting a tier 4 sword. So he doesn't have to worry about it. I would personally merge that tier one sword, but let's see how it will go. Uh, we'll watch the second wave as well, and then we'll skip. Um, I will try to skip to the moment that they both place their units uh, where they want to, and then we will skip to uh, death wave, of course. So let's see. Um, Riding Hood player is struggling right now with placing his Riding Hoods, in my opinion. Uh, he has already tier four, tier 5 Riding Hood. He's not yet getting those stacks that he that he needs. Uh, just quick tip for Riding Hood. Deal enough damage for the first waves. You need like 40 stacks to guarantee that all of the bonuses with the, with the stacks you get. Uh, so you need that uh, as well. As for the sword DPS, I'm nowhere near being expert, uh, but seems like this guy knows what he's doing. He has already two tier five swords. He has tier five triad to make a tier six, and I think tier six uh, as for sword DPS is more than enough. Of course, preferably you want tier seven, uh, but it is not required because you play three or even four swords. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into the moment where both players are set up on their board and we'll see how it will go. Alright, so we are here. Um, I will run quickly with the information uh, what both players has have been doing. Uh, as you can see, Sword DPS guy has already 3 DPS swords on all of his uh, Amulet of Growth tiles. Of course, he's leaving one of them uh, to, be, uh, to, to, get your, to, to get his stacks uh, to the full. Uh, as you can see, one of those swords are as tier 5. Now he used the Golden Fairy Dryad uh, on him. So all of them are tier 7. It is the perfect board that you can get without Zeus. Like, it, I don't, don't think I need to explain this. Uh, as for the Riding Hood player, he has 25 stacks. Uh, I'm quite worried. Maybe he will start stacking soon. Uh, but as for now, uh, he is... Playing with one knight statue, to my surprise. Uh, I think he's getting quite stuck with those witches um, because of the uh, faction bonus during this week, of course. 
Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, here's one tier seven, one tier six riding hoods, one tier five, and one tier three. All the rest, I, I would only assume that is going to just generate more mana. Uh, he's right, good hit. But yeah, that is uh, basically it. Uh, as for the setup that he will go for, is to place both of his highest uh, riding hoods on the double ties, just like right now. Uh, they are buffed by both witches and knight statue. Um, so we'll see how it will end up on the death wave. So let's jump into like two minutes of the death wave and, and see how the play both players do. Alright, and we are at two minutes. As we can see, uh, both players are dealing quite alright with, with the bosses uh, still. Uh, running hood player has two, three... Uh, no, sorry, two tier 7 uh, riding hoods and one tier 6, so it is quite good board, in my opinion, without Zeus, of course. As for DPS, uh, sword DPS, we can see that he got deranked one on one of his swords. Um, so we will see, he will not get merged, uh, so it is alright. Okay, riding hood player got merged, uh, both of his witches got merged, he got tier 5 riding hood, so maybe he will get use of that. Uh, he got the witch that he needed, but he ate it for some reason, uh, maybe he panicked. Uh, as we can see, he has only 60 stacks, it is not enough uh, to go beyond 4 or 5 minutes or to be comfortable uh, staying. Um... Alright, what get... Ooh. Alright, Sword DPS guy lost one of his tier 7 swords. That's quite painful in my opinion. As you can see, he's he is struggling right now with dealing with the wave. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Um, it's 20, 20 seconds until the finish. As we can see, I think uh, that Bedlam really messed up his board. Turning one of his main DPS to into Harlequin. I think... Yeah, with Sword DPS you cannot even copy uh, anything with that, so that's how it is. Quite unlucky game for the J-Paul uh, player, for the Sword DPS player. Uh, I like the idea of playing J-Paul, I think he just invested in J-Paul and on, in his item, and that's why he is playing it. Uh, but yeah, um, as, we, as we all saw, he got really unlucky, I think he, go, he could go even further. Maybe to around 4 minutes, 30 seconds, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that would be it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it and like the idea of uh, running Jake Paul with Sword DPS. It's quite something uh, unusual. And yeah, if you liked it, like the video, subscribe because it helps me a ton. And 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And of course, uh, comment your thoughts uh, in the in the comments. I read and respond to every comment. And as always, we will see each other in the next video.